Okay, so here we are at video two. This is the second video of the SERP software. And we're going to now have a look in the domain research uh, module. And the first one is the age domain finder. So if you are using a tool to find age domains that have expired, uh, this is this tool basically um, can take over from that. Um, and it, it basically it allows you to search for expiring or expired domains. And so you would just enter your seed keyword um, to, uh, into the box, what you're sort of looking for. You can select domain attributes. So you can, if you only want PRs uh, between three and five, you can put those in there. If you want them of a certain age, a certain price, if they want, you know, you want to filter by um, MozRank or Moz domain age, uh, citation flow or trust flow for, for Majestic. Uh, that information is in there. You can select how long you want it to, ex you know, they're going to expire from, and it will go out and it will check all of these domain sources: GoDaddy, Namejet, SnapJ, Snap Names, Name, Dynadot, Cedo, Droplists, Phoenix, and Fabulous for all the domains that are expiring. So that's a brilliant way of finding expired domains. I'm not going to do that because I'm sure you all know how it works, but basically the tool will go out and it will find um, expired domains. But also in the top expiring domains tool, this is a list of the very best age domains available in the next 72 hours that are actually within the SERPT system already. So SERPT has gone out and it has, um, on behalf of all its members, um, it has uh, found what it f uh, figures to be some of the best age domains. Um, so here you can just see, you know, at the top, for example, um, M, I can't even pronounce that, but whatever it is, uh, it's 11 years old. It's going to cost you $69. It's a page rank three. You've got your Moz information, you've got your Majestic information, uh, Alexa information, and uh, social metrics as well. Um, and if you just high, uh, one of the great things is if you just go out, highlight over social metrics. So this one, for example, that's got 13 uh, different shares. Uh, you can see that the 13 um, social shares are actually plus ones from Google. Uh, this one here, Chattanooga, uh, Chattanooga something center, center. Uh, that's got 63 social shares, 17 from Facebook, 44 from uh, fa 17 Facebook likes, 44 shares. Uh, one plus one, one Pinterest. So you're getting some great data. Um, that's pulled through. There's a PR6 here, $69, um, 39 social shares, um, Majestic uh, inf Majestic's, uh, information there. So you can very quickly start to pick up some really great um, top expired domains. So great little tool within it. Um, now we come on to probably one of my favourite, um, or you know, from an SEO angle anyway, one of my favourite uh, tools in the in, in the whole software. Not my favourite, but one of them um, is the Site Explorer. And again, I've done one of these in the past. So we just do compliancebar.com, which is one of uh, mine and Anton's products. So we just analyse that site just purely for this to do the test. And what it's done is it's gone out to the domain and it's analyzed both the www version and the non www version uh, which allows us to automatically see which domain is stronger because as you probably know um, the canonical versions of your sites differ um, and this allows us to see and what we can actually see here is that without the www is actually a stronger site um, than with the www it's got a 17 url rank from arefs uh, 44 domain rank um, it's got 16 uh, citation flow and two trust flow whereas the non www the www version that's a tongue twister um, doesn't have any so it's also got a higher moz rank from moz so it's giving you the information from arefs from moz and from majestic seo uh, it'll also go and give you the information on your backlinks i mean you're beginning to see how powerful this is um, this this whole suite is incredibly powerful. Um, you've got the total number of backlinks from AREFs, the total number from Moz, uh, you've got the majestic information, you can see how many referring domains, all sorts of information. I mean, it's just, it's mind blowing, really. Um, so, you've, and again, on the side, you've got it's a PR0. Well, that's because the site um, was brought into existence after Google started updating PageRank. Uh, three years old, it's indexed, it's not 
having demos, it's got four Facebook likes and 130 Facebook shares. Uh, we could also have a look at the types of backlinks and we can um, in ARES we can see what a text do follow no follow how many are site wide or not site wide um, if there are any uh, .gov and .edu sites and we got the uh, majestic SEO um, graph that gives us the correlation between trust flow and citation flow and as we continue to scroll down we can see the new backlinks that we've gained and we can also see the ones that we've lost um, in a graph we can find the top five backlinks um, and again it gives us information as to what they are what the anchor text is what the trust and citation flow of those links are um, when it was first when it was first um, indexed and when it was last seen and whether we've lost it or not so you can see here uh, two two links these two top links have actually been lost one on the 14th of February one on the 28th of Jan um, the five strongest pages on the site so we can work out which are the strongest pages should we want to use those and then we can actually see what the backlinks are um, so it will, it will go through and it will tell us um, exactly where the, what the backlinks are where they are how strong they are um, domain age do follow no follow etc 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 incredibly powerful incredibly powerful and you know as I said uh, at the beginning of the first video this you know this suite of um, tools and products it really is your all-in-one everything you're ever going to need in order to make sure that you're getting ranked right at the top of Google um, so that's the site explorer you've got a um, exact match domains you can search for those I haven't actually used the domain hacker um, if the truth be told so I can't really tell you much about that um, but it basically uh, allows you to find the best hacked and related domains by checking more than 120 TLDs uh, don't believe that all the best domains are taken many are but there's still plenty out there and this will help you find them um, so again another great little tool you can find exact match domains um, and there's also a backlinks explorer um, oh sorry you can do you can analyze um, URLs so if you've got competitor URLs um, or whatever it may be um, and you want to find the information in them you can analyze them by uh, uh, in bulk so up to a maximum of 20 URLs and it will give you all the information the page rank the social metrics so whether it listed in DMOS etc 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 um, and then you've got your backlinks explorer which basically goes into even more detail on your backlinks um, and if we just go into test that I'd run um, so it will the backlinks explorer will give you the page rank of the of the links that you've got uh, or the links that you're analyzing of course you can do this with potential um, with expired domains that you're looking to buy as well as your own sites competitor sites it will basically give you a huge amount of information um, it will give you the Alexa breakdown how many referring domains uh, B class and C class and it will also give you the the actual links itself so incredibly powerful um, you know really uh, allows you to dig deep into uh, exactly what you need to do in order to ramp up your SEO efforts um, and at the bottom you've got an anchor text cloud so you can see that um, in the links on this particular site 91% of them don't have any anchor text at all um, and basically what the other what the anchor texts are for the other links as well so you know every bit of information you're ever going to need um, for uh, for your SEO uh, in the site management model module I'm going to very quickly go through this but basically uh, via the plugin that you can use to install on your WordPress site um, you can use it to make sure it keeps all the themes and plugins updated and the latest for version of WordPress you've got a cash flow manager where you can input information into it and it will basically um, be give you a cash flow and add some debt assets and debt situation um, of your site how much money it's making you how much money it may be you may be losing hopefully not um, by plugging all the various data into there um, Cert also does site backups for you so if you don't do your own website backups um, you can plug the information in here and tell it how often it will do it and it will actually store it in SERP's own um, S3 accounts and you can just restore it anytime you need to um, you can also integrate it with your own S3 account 
um, so that you can store that information uh, to your own S3, Amazon S3 account as well if you want. So that, another great feature, backups of your site. Many of us um, don't do it and we really we should. Um, the WordPress manager, that's where it keeps up um, your uh, site. So you've got plugin installed and it makes sure everything is updated. Um, you can ask for pro monthly content. It's an additional feature, but the SERP guys will actually create content for you. Um, and it will tell you, um, you, you can determine how many, how many articles you want. You want one art one premium article with however many words and prepare my order and click through to it and pay for it and they will actually create content for you so really really powerful stuff um, very quickly go through rank checking um, you can submit your sites um, and then you can rank track them in cities so particularly useful if you are um, doing local SEO you know you're only interested in say for me I may want to be interested in um, SEO terms related to my the industry in Auckland or Wellington or wherever it may be so really powerful to do rank checking by city uh, you can do the same by a country as well and you can also check on um, on YouTube for videos and the such like so in the final video on SERPs, um, I'm going to cover this client acquisition model module and the other tools module. The client acquisition module, the site auditor pro, um, is something um, really to, if your mind's not blown already, to really take it to a new level. So this is, I'm super, super excited and impressed with this. This is really a genius idea. Um, so I shall see you over in the next video.